Alright, today we're gonna do a little scenery picture with a moon, a little mountain and a tree. So I'm just gonna use this bucket as a stencil to get the circle for the moon. I'm just gonna make a light mist around the bucket so I know where I'm making my moon. Now, take uh, try to get some of these colors in my stack of paint colors there. Light mist of a gray. I'm gonna take even darker gray, spray on my hands and let it drop. Alrighty, I like how that looks. Now we're going to put a highlight and a low light on there. So I'll grab a little white, a little black, do highlight on the bottom here. Take care of a couple of these drops. A little more highlight in that area. I'll take black for the low light on top. Now I'm going to let this sit and dry for 10 minutes or so before I put the bucket back on it. Otherwise the paint's just going to stick to the bucket. So I'm going to turn off the camera and uh, we'll see you in a few seconds. Alright, about 15 minutes went by. Let that dry. Nice and dry. can set anything on top of it now. So we're going to put our bucket back on there. And then we're going to start laying out the sky in the background. Which I'm just going to start with the dark blue and fade it down. Now we're going with like a medium blue. Well, I guess I gotta do a little more dark blue. I got crap everywhere. Alright, on to the medium blue. Now I'm kind of spraying upward that way to fade the two colors together. And then I'll go with a light blue. I'm going to do a little of this medium blue over here. I'm just get a line. I'm going to fade up with the light blue. Scrape some of that dried paint off the tip on this one. 
always kind of check out your tips. See how that's gunked up? I'm just going to take my knife, scrape that off. Start with a fresh, clean surface. Uh, see it a little better. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I tried. Um, light blue, again pointing upwards so it kind of fades it up. And then I think I'm going to go a little crazy and do pink at the bottom. Kind of like the sun just set. The light pink again pointing upwards so any of the overspray fades up. Now we can pull our bucket off, reveal our moon. Now I'm going to spray some black into one of these lids and we're going to paint a little cliff type mountain thing. Some with a tree on top in the moonlight. Kind of. So I sprayed a bunch of black in here. Kind of like a mountain peak. Stick it off. And I'll be right back. Dogs barking. Try to use a different black. See what I got left. Running low on all the black. Well, let's hope that does better. Cliff top kind of poking out.
I got this paint marker. I'm going to draw like a just a tree on top. decision. I don't know. We're trying new things here, so. so we'll color in this trunk, paint marker. Then I'm going to grab a piece of sea sponge. And we're going to make some leaves. Maybe we're gonna go with some in interesting colors for these leaves though. We're gonna do like a more purple leaf. Leaf like a almost like a lilac tree. Alright, that should be Good enough for the tree. Try to get it to connect a little better with the mountain top there. I'm going to grab a bit of this sea sponge. Just got a little chunk of sea sponge here. Grab a different lid. Spray some purple colors in the air. Light purple, and I'll go with this darker purple too. Alright, so we got our two different colored purples there. The sea sponge. I'm just going to lightly. Lightly tap the tips of the tree branches. Try to get a couple of different colors purple on there. Well, interesting look. Uh, that looks kind of cool. Now, I think I'm going to take just a swipe of black at the bottom there. I'm going to make it look like a land in the background or something, I don't know. Now that I did that, decided I don't like it. Oh, we'll just go over it with a little pink.
First the tip on the pink is just taking a crap on me. A little mist, a little purple on there, I guess. That fades in pretty good. Ah, yeah, not too bad. Mm -hmm. Simple little interesting picture. Clear coat it, throw a little signature on it. And good enough. Your coat's almost gone. Jeez, I need to go pick up paints. There we go. Alright, scratch in a little signature on the bottom. And there you go. You got a quick little landscape type painting. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe learned a thing or two. Please do consider subscribing. New videos every week. And here's the final shot. Have a good one, guys. See you next week.